Corey and I have been doing number six with cheese for two years. What can we do to help our brand into the future? Sex tape. Sex tape, okay. That's, I've been pushing that. Yeah, I keep it for him. so long. Right. We worked for Ray J ish. Guys, you are in for a treat today. We are on our way to Conrad Hotel. And on top of their roof, they got a place called No Yanni. 20, 21 stories up. Notice how I made Sean say that because I'm <laughs> stupid and I don't know how to pronounce anything. So I'm yeah. like, oh, put the pressure on We're Sean. in River North, downtown Chicago, about to have apparently some of the best food you can find anywhere. We're stoked about it. And I'm stoked just to be on the roof. I heard the yeah. view up there is gnarly. Check it out to meet Victoria Kent. Excited to meet her? So excited. Let's go. Get out of the way. Oh, oh. <laughs> This is this is, this is amazing. This is what we got hooked up with uh, today. Best day of my life. <laughs> No. So this was all you. You set this up. This was, yeah. look at this like just smorgasbord. Is that the right word, smorgasbord? That's the 100% the correct word to use in this situation. Well, when you have a captive audience, I'm like, why not? Right? <laughs> why would I give you one thing when I can give you all these things? Corey, that's the first person that ever calls our audience captive. What do you think about that? Ah, I'm buying word. it. I'm buying it. I don't know what that word means. I haven't looked at a dictionary in seven years, but we'll look it up. I'm buying it. We'll look it up. You can eat that? What, that? No. Yes. No. Well, no, I, I crossed my mind. You saw the B-roll, you, know you saw the, the food, coming. but now it's time to get to know Victoria Kent. And how I heard you are a PR mastermind? That was the exact, uh, that's your title, that's right? That's on the Just business mastermind. card, mastermind. I went with founder, Found, yeah, founder. because I thought that was a little more humble. Yeah, it's a little more respectful. I like respectful, yeah. yeah. We're yeah. not much on the humble side. Okay. No, we yeah. just go for it, man. <laughs> yeah. We don't even. I'm a really good cook, and I love to cook. Where are we, and what is, what is everybody seeing? So this is Noyani. We're a seasonal rooftop at the Conrad Hotel, right off Michigan Avenue at Erie Street. It's kind of like an izakaya sort of pub situation, totally. Japanese inspired. Yeah. Can I ask a question? Yes. What's an izakaya? So it's more. Yeah, like I'm... pub food, but Japanese. Okay. Sweet, Japanese sweet, sweet, yeah. sweet, sweet. Yeah, so sweet. that's how we can have burgers and yeah. sticky ribs. I can't wait wings. to use that in front of all my dumb friends. <laughs> yeah, which is all of our friends. Yeah, I was just uh, at an izakaya not too long ago, <laughs> just kicking it. So it's not a big deal. Here's right. another thing. Uh, so it's, it's noyani, is how you pronounce it? Yeah, is Japanese for outdoor like patio. Right? Hidden room. Hidden, which is exactly mm, what I said. That's right. That's the same word. It's kind of hidden. Yeah, it is. So you that you want to come here to get up here. We get excited every time we get to even go to an elevator. The so this is a big deal for us. <laughs> the challenge of hiding a roof. Yeah. What an aggressive move to make. Right. Hey, see that thing up there? Yeah, yeah. one's gonna find that. We'll see them all in the city. Well, yeah. that's my job, is to be secret roof. Yeah, that yeah. Everybody knows about. Yeah. yeah, totally, totally. Amazing. What all do we have? So, these are our burgers, which has pork belly, two oh. Wagyu patties, American cheese, Asian slaw, some pickles. Pork Australian belly is my jam. Yeah, yeah. pork belly is like your weakness. Belly. You're getting weak yeah. in the knees, aren't you? Oh, they're trembling. Yeah. And then we have sticky ribs, which are kind of sweet. Mm -hmm. They're like flash fried and part of the process. So they're yeah. crispy. 
and I've eaten them cold. Okay. Still, is, still as good as when it's hot. You okay. can wake up on a yeah. Sunday, pull them out of the fridge, <laughs> slam them. Off the yeah, counter. Nice. You yeah, know, I didn't even put it away. Why would you? Like, who's eating these up? <laughs> and then the wings are amazing too. And they're okay. a little sweet, a little savory. Oh. And then we have snowballs, which is kind of our new claim to fame this year. Yeah, look at this. I mean, yeah. I know we'll get into this, but <laughs> yeah. are we kind of a race against the clock right now, Victoria, with no, 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 these? No, are these melting as we hold up. Okay. This is kind good. of a chillier night. So for these guys, because they probably were just like, why are they holding up those Chinese food boxes filled with rice? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No. There's ice in shaved here. Ice. Shaved, yeah, ice. shaved ice. Shaved ice, condensed milk, peach, bourbon infused syrups, yeah. and some peach slices. There you go. Probably what you guys have after dinner every night. No. Mm -mm. So yeah, so should we, what are you thinking? You want to like get into like right, apps first? first? Cheers. Oh yeah, yes. I forgot, alcohol. Some cocktails. Yeah, yeah, look How at me. How beautiful are these things looking? Right? Guys, cheers. Victoria, cheers. thanks for doing our dumb show. Yeah, yes, appreciate right. it. Thank cheers, you. cheers. Oh, chartreuse. baby, chartreuse. Don't even know what you are, but you're great. And then blue carousel and kind of blue a... Blue carousel. Is that what you put in lamps? That's at the that's at the mirror that's at the mirror oh, that's around. The thing. I'm thinking of kerosene. <laughs> kerosene. Oh, totally that's, yeah, that's uh, yeah. that's dangerous. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was like, this is gonna be real messed up. I'm drinking <laughs> kerosene. I'm drinking gasoline. <laughs> What's that one? What do you what do so you got I going on? I have a bourbon cocktail that's called the Avenue. The Avenue, okay. And it's kind of old fashioned a little bit. Very beautiful okay. flower in there too. Yeah, like it looks that. like you should just like you can wear yeah. that in Hawaii. I think that's just like what I've seen. And these are all session cocktails, so you could drink all day long up here and not get too crazy. Which we planned to do. No. <laughs> Let's do the burger. Let's do it. Okay. I, think we should I love the burgers burger. that come with a flag, especially a Japanese flag, which is really great. This is the Noyani burger with Victoria Kent. Cheers. 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 Oh my gosh. As soon as I went into it, I was mm. like, yes. Wow. The double patty I'm loving. Could they have cooked that any better? No, they couldn't. It was so not. juicy when I bit into it. Yeah. I was like one inch away from the grill. Looks good. Your head. It's amazing. Yeah, I was just right? doing a barbecue restaurant the other day and I was like, is it supposed to burn? <laughs> I'm like, I gotta get as close as I can to it. And our number one thing, the cheese is melted. Yeah. yeah. Nothing Thank bothers you. us more than like, the cheese is still just looking Cold. all like a well, square. And that, right? I don't get it. Get a blowtorch in your kitchen and figure it out. But no, not when they're made mm. this well. Oh my god. Look at this thing. Are you drooling at your computer and or tablet and or phone? No joke, one of the, mo the most well-cooked seasoned burgers I've ever had. Mm. It's one of my favorite burgers. Yeah. It tastes a little bit better because we're like, what, 21 stories up? Yeah, it's just such a good vibe out Everything here. Everything tastes better on a rooftop. That's always, the truth. That's always. the truth. Mm -hmm. Beer always tastes better on a beach. Burgers taste better 2100 <laughs> feet up. What is that? <laughs> That's not right. Beers taste better on a roof too. Ask uh, Shawshank Redemption. You ever seen that? I've Flick? seen it, yeah. You're not wrong. Pick up while it's cold, ladies. The edge of the burger's got a crunch mm. to it. So there's I mean, a lot happening. There's a lot happening. Tato these are sweet potato, right? Yep, because so they're good. healthy. Mm -hmm. Healthy, yep. Good carbohydrate to have. Unlike 99% of the stuff Corey and I eat in our show. Tough What's next? We should do ribs. We got to. Oh, these fries are oh good. Yeah. This doesn't look like Applebee's. <laughs> Sticky no. ribs. Oh, yeah. You get for this. Awesome. Ribs. Cheers. Oh my god. How easily that just comes yeah, off. Yeah, it just falls off the bone. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> this is like a life changer. Yeah, I'm a different person now. It takes about four hours to make these. Really? It has that sweetness to it. Some of the salty. You know I love the sweet. Meat's falling right off the bone. All this little seasoning stuff on here. Yeah, the amount of care that that's is so taken good. to make this. You ever worked this hard on anything, Corey? Never in my life. <laughs> I could eat 150 of those. I feel fancy when I'm drinking this drink. <laughs> I feel like, Victoria, when people are around you, they feel fancier. Like, look at me, I just look fancier, right? Look how fancy I, I am. I try to make people make the best menu decisions. They yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you're doing a good yeah, job. You're nailing it today. From the small serving size that I know of you, you're killing it. So. <laughs> okay, let's do these wings. All right. Red chili and teriyaki. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Cheers. Cheers. So stupid how stop it. <laughs> I wanna come here every day for the rest of my life. We're open for lunch, we're open for dinner. <laughs> you could do it. You have no reason if you're visiting, if you live oh, here, yeah. not to try this. Yeah, this is in a key area. That's sweet. You work with a lot of different restaurants, you we know do. this industry very, very well. You know PR, you know you know the hospitality side of it all. Do you have any good stories? Oh man. Of anything that really sticks out. Just kind of a hidden gem for the number six with cheese crowd to like. Yeah, I so I used to be in-house at Rocket Ranch Productions. Okay. Um, and I would do PR for the underground during Lala Weekend. Oh jeez. Total insanity. Oh I'm yeah. One Which is year. a venue for these guys, yes, right? Yes, it's a nightclub downtown. Mm -hmm. um, so they 
usually get all the celebrities at some point during the Lala weekend, and I once had to bribe Aaron Paul with a bottle of vodka so I could take a picture of him. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but oh I went through his best friend. Okay. So his best friend's like making deals with me yeah. so I can take photos. <laughs> okay. That is awesome. To get into like People magazine. <laughs> That's so funny. It'll make her so happy. It's ridiculous. Yeah, we don't rub elbows with Aaron Paul too much. I and mean, we probably hung out with him only, what, a handful of times? Right yeah, I've, uh, I've talked to him zero times in my life <laughs> up to this point. He's very but nice. now that I know that it just takes a bottle of vodka. Right? Yeah. I'm about to just mail him one today. You know what? F you, man. All right, so those are amazing. I guess the only next step is oh, dessert. to just Take really go for it. You guys obviously you saw that B-roll that we shot too of the ice going in, kind of starts to look a little traditional, easy. It's like, oh, it's just a snow cone. And then things really get weird. You're spooning? We spoon and we spoon know. until it gets too melty and, and then, then you straw. Also, you know it's good and you're on a fancy rooftop when they give you like, they trust you with a, like a nice spoon they want yeah. back. <laughs> this is a ladle. Yeah, this, <laughs> this is like the chopsticks of spoons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. All right, let's go for it. Oh, oh that's, that's refreshing. Okay. It's so light. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's just like airy. Oh, I'll tell you what, if I'm slamming food up here and the sun's beating down on me, yeah. this is what I'm going to want to follow it up with. So when it was, it's been super hot, people are just instead of slamming these. Just mm -hmm. Oh, I bet. Mm -hmm. I love this on the menu. Spike snowballs. I consider them a dessert, not a cocktail. Yeah. Pretty much a Chicago thing, right? Also, it's very Sean and Corey to serve something in a to-go container. <laughs> Look at this, baby. Aren't those cool little characters? It's just on really, there? it's just I really nice. Here's the drink there. menu. Just shout out, shout out to this. Who's your favorite? Do you have a favorite character? Where I immediately had one. Yeah, he's great. He oh, kind of looks like uh, Ryu from Street Fighter a little bit. So Victoria, outside of this place too, a lot of our fans like will email us and say, we're coming to Chicago for two days, and like you know, Corey and I have done like 400 restaurants, right? And it's impossible for us to just give you a couple, and we kind of like we'll, we'll tailor it. What are some things you do with friends specifically when you have friends coming to town? Like, what are places you love to take people? Both food, entertainment, maybe you're out on the divvy bikes. I don't know. But what is like what's a fun stomping pattern for you on the weekend? If I have people coming in town, I like to do places that kind of do double duty. There's all these new restaurants on the river, so you can sit by some water, yeah. you can eat some good food, get your good photos, um, architectural tour Love with that. a flask maybe. Yo. Just oh. to keep it. We are friends. That's my favorite cool. tour, I think. Yeah, the architecture tour. It's I'm awesome. If you have upper body strength, sometimes the kayaking. Yep. That's not for me, but <laughs> I know people I do see do people that. do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. And now there's a bunch of helicopter tours I've been seeing. I that haven't done it yet, sweet. but it looks very cool. Alright, so since we know you love this food, and there's yes. no reason to do our normal out of five because it's all bam, 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 five. Yeah, how about this, Corey? How, how do you like this? We rank top three the Olympic medals. Ribs would be first. Okay. First place, the burger second, and then the snowball. Yeah. Right? I can't, I can't. I love the wings, but you know what? Wings are ribs, those ribs are pretty insane. Yeah. Corey, what about you? I gotta go ribs, numero uno. Those yep. ribs were un. Real. Yep. Dose. I'm going with the burger because I'm obsessed with pork belly and I live for it and would do harmful things to people for it probably. <laughs> I don't know why he's admitting that, but it's true. Number three, I think it's going to be a little bit of a surprise. I'm going with the sweet potato fries. Wow. Whoa. I know. I think it's because I usually hate healthy stuff so much that I try a little bit of sweet potato and I'm like, bro, that tastes good. <laughs> Ribs also number one. I'm dead. Those ribs insanity. Are on. That's one of the things I didn't feel guilty grabbing another one of, right. not knowing if everybody else was gonna get a second. <laughs> uh, second would be the burger, and third is this amazing to go. Look at this just soup of alcohol. I'm enjoying. Mmm, incredible. So Victoria, where can people check you out? Yeah, I know you're on Instagram. Um, yeah. You're on every restaurant in the history of time. I have a website. It's VictoriaKentPR.com. Like Links below. Mm -hmm. And I'm mostly on Instagram. And I have a hedgehog. My hedgehog has an Instagram too. You have a hedgehog. <laughs> I do. His name is Super Jiffy with a Y five five. I don't know why I didn't just assume you had. Right, yeah. I'm following your I'm hedgehog right hedgehog now. Mom. I'm, I've never followed a, a hedgehog in my life. It's time to <laughs> Not start. even Sonic. Soon you'll Not just even start. Sonic. How many followers does this hedgehog have? I think he has only a hundred, but oh. he's still new. That's, but that's more than some of my human friends. <laughs> <laughs> Corey and I have been doing Number Six with Cheese for two years. If you were gonna give us a fun little like, what can we do to help our brand in the future? What would be like a good little like sex tape? Sex tape. Okay. That's, I've been pushing that. Right. Yeah, I could it so long. It worked for Ray J ish. Yeah, it's made it. We just gotta now release it. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm, I, he keeps trying to get me to uh, make it public, but it's unlisted on our channel still. <laughs> that would be it. Okay, cool. Just a sex tape. I've Hold been on. thinking marketing all wrong. I'm really sorry, man. <laughs> you, know, you had it right.
you guys so much for watching another number six with cheese. Uh, like we said, Victoria stuff all below this. Corey, uh, it was great eating with you again. Victoria. What? Yeah, I'll see. Thanks, guys. I know, but you know, we, we do this a lot, and I, I don't, I don't take it for granted for a minute. Granite? I granite countertops. Gotcha. See you guys tomorrow with a brand new episode. Bye. Just because we stopped filming doesn't mean we're done eating. We're chatting. Alex is here. You guys are missing out. Move it back. You yes, can do sir. it. Yes, sir. Do it. Yes, sir. Right there, a little more. Right, a little more. Per right there. There. Perfect. Good. Yep. Got it. Got it.